y'all welcome back to holler house this video is going to be picking back up where we left off on the house last time so this is going to be pretty much after all most of the trash is taken out and we're putting in the rim joist um, the floor joist the sill plate so pretty much reconstructing the entire floor system throughout the house Okay, so we are in the living room right now in this part of the video and you can see that we've put floor joists on the left side of the room and also on the right side here of the living room and you can see right there in the front part of the house where that big window is there is there was pretty much the, the foundation was non-existent um, so we really didn't have to do much jacking to get those sill plates and the room joist in place floor joist in place we were able to just pretty much build um, on something that was kind of hanging there. And then we were later able to jack those up and, and level the, the floor out. And you can see right there, kind of looking into the kitchen slash dining room area. Uh, we started in the living room. That was the first place um, as far as putting the floor joist in where, where we had started. And you'll notice we kind of put... Um, some like two by fours and and that sort of deal um across the openings here i'm not really sure that that made a difference it kind of i guess gave us a little bit of i don't know some kind of reassurance that everything wasn't just going to kind of collapse in on us um so i don't know if that really did much of anything but we put them there and then you'll see also that we had cut the drywall there around the edges uh, the bottom edges of the the living room and so the reason for that is so we could kind of get a good idea of everything that was going on underneath um, the walls there and then also on the side wall right here that you're seeing in the clip um, that was a wall that we did have to end up jacking up and I'll kind of talk a little bit more about that later how we jacked up those walls so we could put the floor joist underneath of them and make the repairs that we needed. And you can see here we just kind of worked our way in sections just trying to repair the those sill plates and the rim joists there and also putting those floor joists in you can see right here in this clip how rotted um, all that was before we started making repairs and here's a video where we had put most of the floor joists in the kitchen and we were able to kind of see a little bit better into these rooms so you guys have already seen kind of some of these clips of the blue room and the purple room and just how much trash was in there and we're going to be showing you kind of what those look like um, after we got the trash out and put the, the floor joist, still plates room joist in those rooms. put a clip of just the attic space and you can see the ceiling joist there um, the reason I showed that attic space is because you'll see here in the kitchen where the ceilings out pretty much what I did to get those ceilings out because they were just completely destroyed they had to come out the insulation there was insulation there which is a good thing it was just really gross um, so what I had pretty much done to get that um, those the drywall off the ceiling and that insulation out was pretty much just kind of went up in the attic space, put me a two by six down where I could sit on, wore some heavy boots and just kicked the insulate or kicked the drywall down in, in big chunks. And that made a very quick, made very quick work of 
getting those ceilings out of there. Outside of the cleanup, of course. So here you see a um, two by six with a four by four attached and you'll see some bolts in it. This is how we pretty much jacked those walls up to put the rim joist, floor joist and sill plates underneath. Um, so what we did was we had that on the outside and then there was another two by six on the inside. And we took some, I don't know really what you call it, some, we basically made some bolts and tightened it and then used jacks on the outside with um, like LVL lumber underneath and concrete block and used bottle jacks to, to jack up the walls. <laughs>